An empowered approach to astrology sees you as a co-creator of your experience of consciousness. If you'd like to experience what an empowered approach to astrology is all about, feel free to schedule one of my empower hours. You'll find the link to those just above. So does it float your boat? Does it melt your butter? Does it get you through the night? Is it something that you're really thrilled to do? Or are you feeling yourself somewhat reluctant to do this? Or are you even being dragged kicking and screaming into a solution to a problem that you're not really, well, you know, that wild about? You're not wild about this solution. So if the latter is the case, then why on earth are you doing this? Why? Why? It's just why? And I know in your mind, you're likely going, well, you know, there's this side of it. And well, I have to. And well, this is expected of me. And sure, all those things might be there. And at the same time, a certain degree of diplomacy may be necessary in the equation that you're dealing with. But at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to have to live with the decision that you're making. And if you want to be all in on something, why are you going with the solution that, well, you know, you're maybe only halfway in on, or, you know, maybe not even that much. Maybe you don't want this at all, but you feel like you're in a position where you absolutely have to do it. Remember whose life this is. And remember, if you're really into a particular solution, it's going to feel right. You're going to know it's right. You're not going to question it quite as much. So let's come back to that side of you that feels like this is something that you absolutely positively have to do. Well, that thing or that situation or that requirement, if you will, that makes it feel like you don't really have any other choice. Is that requirement something that you're all in on? And if the answer to that question is yes, because whatever it is that you're finding yourself coming to a diplomatic solution over, if that's really like so important to you that you're going to come to, you know, some middle ground with someone else, then be all in on the fact that that's something that's important to you and recognize why you're doing it. We have choices, right? Sometimes we like to convince ourselves that we don't. But the truth of the matter is that we always do have choices. And something to remember is if you're finding yourself in a situation where, you know, you're kind of going about your life in a, well, like a halfway house, so to speak, where you're part of the way in and you're part of the way out, then you're not really living to the fullness of your capacity. Instead, you're being half the person that you could be. And then any alliances that you're making with another person, for whatever sake that you're making it, then you know deep in your heart that somewhere down the line, those alliances are something that is going to fall apart. So for the moment, before you jump all in on a particular situation, maybe retreat back a little bit. Gather your thoughts. Try to feel where your sense of inspiration is coming to in this particular moment, or I should say where your uh, sense of inspiration is coming from in this particular moment, what the source of it is. Try to feel your situation out and go, does this feel right? Is this living by my heart? And if you feel that there are reasons that keep you committed to a situation that you don't really know that you should, if you should be committed to it, let yourself feel your involvement in that too before you go all in on a solution that you're really not all in about, right? Your life should have meaning. The choices that you make, really, ultimately, they should fire you up. Your life should be filled with purpose and passion, not a sense of 
reluctance with every single moment that you face. You want to be all in and you want to like make the choices that float your boat, that get you through the night, that melt your butter and that bring meaning to your life. And in the end, the choices that you make only have to be agreeable to you. So make the choices that are agreeable to you and your own heart. And if you could use a little bit of help sorting through any confusion you might be dealing with, with this particular process, again, I highly recommend scheduling in an Empower Hour consultation with me. You can find the link to those consultations just above. That's going to do it for this look at the full moon in Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra, which takes place on the 10th of September, 2022, uh, less than 24 hours after Mercury stations retrograde. Look for a video on that in the uh, next couple of days as well. But until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now. Mm -hmm.